36, car 36, but at the corner of Williams and 10th Street, on an investigation. Meet a woman on the corner. That's all. You the woman who called the police, ma'am? Yes, I called. What's wrong? Well, there's an awful smell of gas coming up to my room. Where? Right here. I run the rooming house, and all morning long I've been smelling gas. Can't seem to find out where it's coming from. Why didn't you call the gas company? Because I want you to look into old Dad Higgins' tailor shop. I'd be coming from there, and I don't see Dad up and about. All right. Come on, Mac. Let's see if we can find where the gas is coming from. Right. I never knew Dad Higgins to be so late getting up. He's usually up long before this. Always seems sitting in the window there when I go to the store. Is this the, the door to his place? Uh, yes, and my rooms are right upstairs. Oh, Duffer must be out. Yeah, this is where the gas is coming from, all right, Mac. Yeah, it smells like it. Say, what? What's in the chair there in the back room? Where? Why, that's him. That's Mr. Higgins. In there and all that gas. All right, give me a hand here. Right. right. Uh, uh, no, I won't budge. Stand back. Uh. All right, come on. Hey, look out for the gas, Ed. <coughs> Use your handkerchief. <laughs> come on, we got to get this old man out of here. <coughs> Where's the gas coming from? That stove, probably. <coughs> shut it off. Okay. Better shut it off at the pipe. <coughs> there. That's all. All right, now give me a hand here. All right, here we go. Well, you better carry him right out on the street. Yeah. <coughs> All right, don't crowd in around here. Open up. Just lay him down on the sidewalk, Ed. Some of you rubbernecks are going to call into the fire department. We'll need an inhalator. Hurry it up. How's he look, Ed? Yeah, he looks like a goner. Body's cold. Maybe like in circulation. Here, I'll work his lungs. See if you can find some water. All right, I'll be right back. But you're wasting your time. All right, hold on. This doesn't concern you. All right, back there. Stand He's working on him any longer. He was dead when we carried him out. What if you stay with him until the ambulance comes? Okay. Come on, Mac. So where are you going? Inside the store and look around. It's had time to tear out, I guess. Yeah. Gas makes me feel sick. Poor old fellow. Probably down in the mouth and blue. I'll have to get pretty despondent to do a thing like that. Yeah. All right, be careful of the glass here. You better shut what's left of the door to keep that crowd of rubbernecks out. Phew, there's plenty left here. <clears throat> Maybe you better open one of those windows and let some fresh air in. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I guess you better leave him alone until the lieutenant gets here. You know how he yells when we disturb anything. Yeah. Hey, what's that over there on the table? Huh? I don't know. Looks like a note. Ah, it is a note. Yeah, let me see it. Life has become a burden to me. I'm getting old and have no reason to live any longer. The only one who has been kind to me is Peter Torrance. I leave him all I have. Signed, Dad Higgins. Well, I guess that settles that. Yeah, I guess so. When we broke in on him here. I had a feeling that maybe everything wasn't on the level, but I guess that note settles everything. Well, anyway, it's the lieutenant's job to investigate these cases. Our job is riding around looking them up for him. Hey, who's that, the lieutenant? No, oh, it's Burke. Uh, where's the lieutenant, Burke? Just called out on a murder. Sent me over to tell you boys to handle this yourself. Make a full report before you have the radio put you back in service. Uh... What happened? Uh, some old man got tired of living and bumped himself off. Uh, Took gas. That must have been him. I saw him carting out in the general hospital ambulance when I drove up. Yeah. Well, you got the lieutenant's message. I'm going home and get some sleep. I was up all night making fingerprints off a hotel safe only to find out that the clerk himself took the doll. Well, I'll be seeing you. Hey, wait a minute, Burke. What do you want? Have you got your fingerprint outfit with you? Yeah, but... Hey, uh, I, I wonder if you'd uh, see what you can find on that gas valve there. Hey, I'm due at home. I'm just, I, uh... just take a minute or so. I don't think that there's anything wrong here, and if if you find old Dad Higgins' prints on that gas valve, I'll know there's nothing wrong. Yeah, but if you think I'm going to make a trip down to the morgue to take his impressions so I can check him up, you're crazy. Now, that won't be necessary. I imagine you'll find plenty of his prints all over the place here. Try those irons on the shelf there. Hey, uh, Mac. Yeah? Will you chase upstairs and get that room and house woman who called in on the case? Yeah, sure thing. Hello, boy. Well, what'd you find, Bert? Uh, what do you think I am, a magician? Give me some time. You're worse than a lieutenant. Every time there's a suicide, he takes a prince everybody living within a five-mile radius. <laughs> well, that's your game, isn't it? Yeah, but not taking them in droves. Yeah. And I hope you're satisfied. What'd you find? Nothing. Nothing? You heard me. The valve's as clean as a pin. 
What are you dummies? Probably smeared whatever prints were on it. And that's where you're wrong. I had Ed shut it off at the pipe, not at the burner. Was the corpse wearing gloves? Of course not. No prints, huh? That's funny. How about the doors? Locked on the inside, both of them. The windows? All locked, tight in a safe. Uh, Look here. Uh, Dead cat. Yeah. Must have been Higgins' cat. Looks like he set some milk out for it just before he turned on the gas. Funny to do that. Hey, where do you think you are, Ed? On the detective detail? Well, the lieutenant said to investigate this, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't say to go building up any hypothetical cases. Listen, Ed, when a guy gets bumped off, you got to have a motive, the means of doing the job, and a criminal. You ain't got nothing but a dead cat. Well, maybe I'll surprise you. I got a suicide note, too. And you got me wasting my time around here? Take the note to headquarters and check it suicide. I'm going home. Hey, just a minute. Would you take a look at that transom above the back door there for me? Eh, all right, but that's all. What do you want me to look for? I don't know. But if the killer... Oh, they're he... rising again, huh? Yeah, if Dad Higgins was killed, that's the only place the murderer could get out after he bolted both doors from the inside. Then he could close the transom after him and snap the lock. Got it all figured out, huh? Well... well what'd you find? I got to hand you for one thing, anyway. There was someone crawling over this transom recently. I can see where the dust's been wiped away. Any prints? No prints. Well, that's that. Thanks, Bert. I'll buy a cigar sometime. I'll probably be too old to smoke it. So long. Oh, oh pardon me, ma'am. I didn't see you. Oh, here's the lady who called us, Ed. All right, good. Uh, what's your name, ma'am? Dugan. Mrs. Dugan. And I've been living here for... Uh, how well did you know Dad Higgins? Well, as anyone, I reckon. Uh, he didn't get about much. Uh, stayed in the shop here most of the time. Cooked and slept here, too. You know of any reason for anyone killing him? Killing him? Why, land sakes, no. Did he have any money? Well, not a lot. At least ways I don't think he had. How long has he been living here? Well, he was uh, living here when I came. Uh, that was 15 years ago. Does he have any relatives? Well, not that I know of. He used to get some letters from a sister of his, but she died a few years ago. How do you know? Well, I... Uh, how do I know why? How do you know that he used to get letters from his sister? Because he, he'd bring them upstairs for me to read to him. Poor soul. Never had no education. No learning. Mm-hmm. Uh, is this his cat? Land sakes, it sure is. Oh, he was right fond of it, too. Do you think that Mr. Higgins would pour a dish of milk for the cat and then leave it in the room to die when he killed himself? No. No, I don't think he would. Mr. Higgins wasn't that kind of a man. I see. Uh, give me that note, Mike. All right. Uh, Mrs. Dugan, uh, do you know a Mr. Torrance? Peter Torrance? Sure, I know him. He's roomed with me for five years. Were he and Dad Higgins good friends? Well, now, I can't answer that. They used to talk a lot down here in the evenings. But as far as being real good friends, I don't know. Would you be surprised if you knew that Dad Higgins had left the shop and everything he had to this fellow Torrance? Well, yes, I would. Uh, here's something, Ed. What's that? I just found a savings account book on this desk. Old man Higgins had nearly $5,000 saved up in the First National. My man. Oh, he did, eh? Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Dugan. You can get back upstairs now. Come on, Mac. Let's look around downstairs here, then. Yes? Oh, uh, it's uh, you, officer. Yes, we just finished our looking around downstairs, and we wanted to tell Mr. Torrance of his good fortune. Which room does he live in? Uh, right across the hall. Uh, that's it, at number 12. All right, thanks. Oh, uh, is he in? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Hey, what's on your mind, Ed? Wait and see. Knock on this door. Yeah, he's probably out. Wait. What do you want? We're officers of the law. We've got some good news for you. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I ain't done nothing. Well, nobody said you had. Mind if we come in? No, only don't try to pin nothing on me. I'm going straight now. Yeah. Old timer, eh? Huh? I've done my bit. Well, maybe things are looking better for you, Pete. You, you knew that Dad Higgins committed suicide. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Dugan told me. It's too bad. Not too bad for you. Look, here's a note. Dad Higgins left everything to you. Everything he had. Left me? Everything? Why? Uh, yeah, but you won't get a chance to use it. Get his arm. Hey, hey, hey what, what are you doing? All right, there. Now, put these on him. Hey, hey. There you go. <laughs> Thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? 
What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You killed Dad Higgins. Huh? You throttled him with a big towel so it wouldn't leave any marks, and then you turned on the gas. You left this note so it'd look like a suicide. That's a lie. Oh, is it? You had things pretty well thought out, Torrance. You knew that the old man was alone at night. You knew that he had a savings account with almost $5,000 in it. You knew nearly everything about him except one thing. But uh, what do you mean? Why, you poor dumbbell, you slipped up just like all the other smart guys. Too bad, Torrance, when you wrote that note that you didn't know that old man Higgins never learned to read and write. Uh, <laughs> 